So uh, we saw render passes and now we are going to see uh, AUVs. So AUVs are technical passes and they are uh, stored inside uh, a layer. So we have now a layer uh, called layer and it's stored inside the render pass. And inside the, the layer we have a render pass called beauty. This beauty pass uh, renders the, all the elements of, uh, of the image various elements, uh, technical elements of the, the, the beauty or uh, the diffuse, the specular, subsurface scattering uh, and, uh, and so on. If we want to add a new uh, technical pass, a new AOV, we can duplicate uh, the beauty pass and then choose, uh, choose a different uh, component, for instance the diffuse here. So when we render we can see that we have two technical passes, the beauty and the diffuse component. So we can have we can see here only the, the diffuse component. We can have uh, several uh, passes, so for instance indirect diffuse, uh, specular and reflections. And even yeah for instance subsurface scattering for this uh, for this setup this should be enough so we can drag and drop uh, so we, we we still render the same thing uh, we can see the diffuse we can have uh, indirect diffuse which is the uh, global illumination we have speculars the reflections of of uh, direct lighting and we have reflections the reflections of uh, surrounding objects and eventually the subsurface scattering, which is uh, separated from from the beauty, from the diffuse. All in all, all those uh, technical passes added inside the uh, inside the compositing software will compose into uh, the beauty uh, when you ra when you uh, blend them additively. So we are going to see now how uh, we can how we can filter a technical pass by. Uh, uh, using lights, so we can assign uh, specifically some lights to a uh, to a technical pass. So first thing is that we are we are going to categorize our lamps. So for instance, this light this light is a fill light, and this light is categorized as a rim light. So you can choose any name you want in the in the light category. And eventually, we can choose a preset from uh, from the the list. For instance, the beauty fill, and the beauty fill is the beauty with fill lights. So when we render, we only have uh, we have the render with only the the lights from the right. So we can have another pass. Uh, for, for instance, beauty rim or beauty back. Uh, this is the beauty with uh, rim lights. So when we render, at the same time, we'll have uh, the beauty with the rim and the beauty with the fill. So both lights are being separated. So we take some. We can sum up all that we've learned before: the, the layers and uh, the AOVs. And we can uh, set up uh, our scene to render two different layers. So one layer for the character, and and one second layer with the set. And uh, each layer is composed of uh, several technical passes. So, for instance, we have the 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 diffuse for the right light. We have the speculars for the right lights, the subsurface scattering for the li right light. We have the diffuse, the specular, and the subsurface for the subsurface scattering for the light, uh, left light. We have uh, indirect lighting, indirect uh, diffuse, and uh, reflections. Those two uh, last passes are uh, independent from lights because now reflections of the, the the set. So for the set, we have uh, the diffuse from the right light. We have the specular from the right light, the diffuse from the left light, the diffuse from the specular from the right left light, indirect diffuse, 
and eventually reflections. So all these passes can be composited uh, directly in additive mode into a, into, a, into a compositing software such as Nuke and uh, the result will be exactly uh, uh, the beauty as, as if it were rendered uh, on a single on single pass.